Hey guys, Mike Loves Nature here. Today we're going to gather some isopods and some moss for my terrariums. Be using them to help uh, break down old plant matter and uh, poop from our frogs and stuff like that. So we're going to try and collect a bunch of these guys and bring them home. There's no way there's a salamander in London, Ontario. This is where Mike's love of lizards comes from, because this is what he hunted as a kid. <laughs> I was gonna say exactly that. So these guys are the salamanders, one of Ontario's northern salamanders. They don't really like being on your hands, so I wouldn't recommend picking them up too much. But I just wanted to quickly show these guys off. <laughs> I'm gonna let him go back home and let Cassie try and get a zoom up of them here. But they are the coolest little guys. Back, so cute. Back home he goes. Back to the log. Couple of snails. Can't get the best shot, but. Little fella. Try and get him in the light here. If you know the, uh, the name of any of these guys and the species, I would love to find out. Can you, get, can you get a shot of them? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> so this is number three. Woo! He's on the move. Got him. Yeah, we're gonna put him in a container now before he gets away. <laughs> so this is a styrofoam box I picked up from a uh, local store and uh, it cost me under I think five dollars for this and I'm now going to turn it into an ice spot farm. So I'm going to take my screwdriver and I'm going to poke some holes in the lower part of this box for drainage. Now I'm going to take some of this uh, screen net here and I'm going to cover the holes on the bottom so they don't crawl through. How about that? I'm just going to use regular packing tape for this part. So I taped all the screen down the best I could to make sure that nobody can walk through and everything like that. I'm actually going to use the smallest nail that I could find. And I'm going to use this to poke holes in the tape, just in between the screen holes. Now I'm going to flip it over and work on the inside. Alright, so now I'm going to take everything that we gathered from when we were out in the forest, and plus a little bit of this snake moss here. And we're going to make an enclosure that's good to breed isopods or uh, wood lights, spring tails, whatever you call them. By. So this uh, snag moss I got comes dried in a brick, so one of the ways I like to get it hydrated is put a little water in a cup and then just kind of mix it with your hands until everything feels nice and hydrated. Alright, now that we got a decent cover on the bottom, I'm going to put the wood that we gathered. So you'll notice this wood already has a whole bunch of little crevices and nooks. It's a, it's a dry piece of uh, rotting wood more or less. And they absolutely love this. Uh, they're known as wood lice for that reason. Um, so I'm going to put a couple pieces of wood like this in there. And a uh, fancy twig. I found that. I'm very proud of it. And I'm going to put a bunch of my moss on top of this. The sphagnum moss underneath will help hold moisture which will help this moss be happy. So this is what it looks like after I've just kind of arranged all the moss and plants that we gathered. All the isopods are in there too and now I'm going to give it a little bit of a misting to rehydrate everything and I'll show you after that. Now I'm going to put the lid on. I also taped some screen over the top so they don't climb up the top. Because they can definitely climb 
the uh, styrofoam. All right, and now it's gonna go live outside. I'll show you a shot of it where it's gonna live. We got it placed outside in a place that doesn't get sun, so it doesn't get too hot in there for them. Um, I also got a little wooden wedge underneath to just keep it jacked up a little bit to help the water drain out. And uh, there we are. Like and subscribe to Mike Loves Nature. Thank you guys.